big outs, you know, that's what I'm trying to do as well as we go, the process. Um, I feel like my process is, is, is never like linear, you know, it's, it's not like, oh, I do the bass and I fix the bass and I do the, the kick and I fix the kick and I do the highs and I fix the highs and it's all done after. It's, everything's just going back and forth and shaping as we go. So, um, but of course, you know, um, mixing in the end is, is, is all solving the same problem. How do you, how do you get your, uh, your track to sound? clear as clear as possible and you know very often this uh, you know stuff like this hi-hats as you can see here you know they come it, it comes with a lot of low end low energy right all these frequencies down here you know up to this point here it's not really what you need that's not what a hi-hat is for a hi-hat is like you know for your 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 high your higher frequency energy in in the track so i always roll them off already i grab a EQ and I just roll them off. Because as you can hear, the sound of that hi hat is not changing up to probably this point where it starts to get really thin. But you want to have that sort of beefiness that's in the mid, pretty much around here, around a thousand hertz. 